off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Hi friends, we are headed to Costco um, and you know you need food when your 15 year old daughter makes the list. To be fair, she's an organized person. I think she's trying to find new food options. We do get the same things. Um, our kids are pretty routine eaters. Well, and I think they want to be different. And they want to be different, so they, I... They need to try more we need to maybe... Yeah, try. and so when she added pepperoni and extra extra fruit that we haven't done before, okay. um, yeah, if they could only sell the garlic pasta noodles, she would be happy. She doesn't like any of the vegetables or the yeah. chicken in the pots. Yeah. <laughs> I have so many bags of the the broccoli, broccoli the and the all, yeah, all the vegetables the and the chicken, which actually works really, really good for me because I have a really good bowl full of vegetables and chicken yeah, um, when I want them. Um, she just really likes the noodles. <laughs> um, so. She gave us a, quite a good list, um, and we've added to it. This is um, our regular grocery haul in general, but also for the 4th of July. He is home today. It is Saturday. Never it's an Saturday odd day. Because of the amazing people that work with me. Yes. have made it possible. It just take today Thank off. Thank you for all of them, and it was Samantha's idea. Yeah, I, I, I knew that it was her idea. Oh, well, yeah. I said, why'd you do it? And I'm like, uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I knew you would. So you were I the one hesitating. It. I just on hate it. to leave them hanging. They're good people. I know, I know. they can do it. I know. And so then I told the rest of the crew. The boss told me I had to take off. So <laughs> she is the boss. Yeah, She's that's how he lives his life. The women are in charge. Um, so anyway, we're heading to Costco. We are getting stuff for the Fourth of July as well. I we have we're going to our friend's house again this year for the Fourth. I'm trying to find my wedding ring. If you wonder what I'm doing. I know I put it in my pocket here somewhere. I gotta find the one. I know, I've lost my actual wedding ring. And so, because I have like an allergy to metals, I just ordered a titanium one on Amazon. It's just fake, like diamonds in it. But um, titanium is cheap, I I but I'm not allergic to it. One. I know. I think it's I, in drawer or something. It's not in my drawer, I've already looked. But anyway, we are going to our friend's house for the 4th of July and it's going to be really nice. It's going to be like 90 degrees that day. Uh -huh. So I know that the kids are going to want to get into their lake. We're going to want to hang out at the at the beach. Um, and then we'll go back to their place to have food. And then we're going to head to um, the farm for fireworks. Oh, gosh. Everyone says you can't treat this like a race car. I'm not. I'm not. There's a Porsche ahead of you and you're just trying to like, you're just trying to like show your stuff. Porsche. It is a beautiful Porsche. Anyway, but these friends introduced us to um, ribs grilled and they put a certain like Korean rub on it. <sighs> like just thinking about these ribs, like what do you think about the ribs? Oh no, they just flake off. And I'm not usually like a messy eater no. or boned kind of eating person. Yeah. But man, it's just, yeah. And they don't, they don't cut it so that you have like the full bone. They cut it in little teeny tiny, they cut the bone. They cut like teeny tiny bite sized pieces so that they can just be dumped into a bowl. Like about two or three inches long. Yeah. Than like a whole so thing. then you can just put the whole thing in your mouth and like the bone pops out and you, you know, it just melts off. Anyway. It's just really good. So I, I think about this meat. If you can't tell, I really like my meat. <laughs> um, beef, steaks, ribs. Um, and I look forward to it. I don't eat it all the time. But last year, um, I said, you know what? You spent a lot of money on those ribs. I checked out the price of them. Um, you don't need to do that. And they and I said, I'm going to get the ribs this year. Um, and so we bought them and brought them over. And they were like, yeah, we got some too. Because we figured, why not have double? Everybody goes through them. And like, we fly like, through them. Like, they cannot get them off the grill and cut them fast enough into the bowl. And so last year we had two sets of two racks of ribs, like the full pack from Costco. Um, and I don't know if other people are going to bring them again this year, but I'll talk with him about when we need to go out so we can help him cook. I don't want him to have to cook everything. And I like, know he enjoys it though. It's just he like does, the but, you thing. Know, I, don't I know. Want I know. Stuck at the grill. I know, especially because it'll be hot that day. 
So we're gonna get some ribs and watermelon. I'm not gonna come here on Monday, the day before the 4th of July. Um, Costco is gonna be crazy. I'm not gonna do it. It's already gonna be crazy on Saturday. We don't, I mean, he's not home on Saturday and I'm not gonna go to Costco alone. And so I haven't done Costco Saturday in years. Like, it's been a long time. It's been a long time. So we'll show you what we get. All right, we do have our vegetables in our cart over there, but we are picking out the ribs. Let's get a lot, like get more than 10 pounds. Get the ones that are like well, this one's 10 and a half or 11. Well, this one's 11. Yeah, get more, more is always better. All right. We've got blueberries, bananas, cucumbers, strawberries, watermelon, artichokes, potatoes, lettuce, and the beloved um, rack of ribs. Okay, we've added Propel for Ashley mainly. She's been on a soda kick, so we're trying to get her off of that. We've got milk, bagels, and chips for the barbecue. And I think that is all we've added so far. Oh, the eggs up there. Okay, I'll show you what else we've added, but they literally have not had syrup at in Costco. Like no, in like two, three years. Honestly, since the pandemic, they have not had freaking syrup. We've added some yogurts, cheese sticks, Nutella is on rebate, bread, uh, ravioli, Necessities. His necessities. They're on rebate, to be fair. What else did we add? That's it. I think that's it. So, bigger haul than normal, but also with a big event and, yeah. Bump, bump, bump. How did we get a squirt in the car? <laughs> <laughs> we ran home um, to get Abby and take her to work. And as we were quickly unloading all the Costco food and getting ready to go take her, um, Ashley was on a call with friends and she was like, I can plan a play date right now, right? So she's going over to her friend's house. Her mom was like, I am literally just puttering around until we're going out tonight. Can she please come over? <laughs> and so we're taking you over there. That'll be fun. So we only have one child at home and it's Chelsea and she's wow. a, uh, 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 what do you call it? Where are you going? Where are you going? That's no, it's oh, so where are you I'm going? Like, Sorry about that. He was going to the other kid's house. <laughs> so we're gonna take her over, and then Chelsea is the only one left at home. It's weird not having Kaylee home, even if she's in and out of work and hanging out with Jacob. That upper playroom has been vacant for days, and it's very strange. Um, but it made me think about, um, I mean, once she'll be back by the time I have my surgery, obviously. But we're, Abby and I are already fighting over the air conditioning. And when I have my surgery, I'm going to be like in my room recovering and I'm going to want the AC. I need to like look on the Facebook Marketplace and even so, just like borrow no, an AC unit or something. No, what we can do is turn it toward you, but then put a fan in the door to suck extra air out. No. Or circulate it properly. I'm going to look. No, we're not buying another one. What if I borrowed one? Just for two weeks. Sure, as long as no one else needs it in 90 degree temperatures. I know, that's the tricky thing. to do anything right now because I ran out of computer ink for the printer and um, we don't have any like office stores left in town our staples is gone our, our office depot is gone and so the next closest one is like a whole city over it's like an hour process to go over there which I don't mind doing but I know that Jason would, would want to go but he's passed out He's asleep and I don't want to wake him up because he never gets to like, you know, I mean he does on Fridays and stuff, but I just want him to be able to relax on his weekend off, but I don't have any more computer work to do. I don't have any more editing to do and I really wanted to start the process of our passports <laughs> and I was, I was on a roll, I had printed my application out. I was printing out at Kaylee's application because she's an adult now and we're going to wait until 
Cassily Abbey is 16. But I don't have to. I, I want to start this process now. I need to kind of get going on it, um, especially because we all have to be in person um, to go and get our, our passports. Um, because, you know, we have three kids. Jason and I both have to be present um, for their application <laughs> in the, you know, when we go in. And so it would be best if we can get it done during the summer when everyone's home. We don't have as many like time restrictions, but I don't have ink. <laughs> I just need to like get every one of them um, printed out and then filled out and then pull out all the birth certificates from our safe and put them all in a folder, like all lined up together. And then I will know that I've got all the documentation and I can make the appointment at the post office to go in because the sooner we get started on this process I know we have like nine months <laughs> until we're going to Japan but I, everyone has had so many delays on getting their passports that I'm just not going to risk it and there's no reason why we can't start now it'll be so much easier to get the process done while the kids are out of school but I don't have dang ink so I can't like keep going on that and I don't want to pull out like their birth certificates and stuff now just because I want to keep them safe. So, I'm at a standpoint. I, I literally have to watch TV from my bedroom by myself and steal the air, air conditioning. So, I mean, I have to. There's nothing else for me to do. So, I'm going to. I'm watching um, the Hamptons reality. Yeah, Forever Summer Hamptons. <laughs> I'm a sucker for uh, reality TV so and I need to find a new book usually I, I don't mind like just sitting here with like a, an audiobook and play games on my phone and whatnot but I, I run out of audiobooks I have a whole bunch on hold or waiting to be on hold um, at the library but none of them are available so I'm kind of stuck anyway I'm gonna just relax for a get a bit I guess take advantage of Ashley not nagging at me to do something um, and not have anywhere that I have to go. Um, I just feel kind of, I don't feel guilty, but I just feel like we should take advantage of the time, but I, there's literally nothing. I could put away that load of laundry over there, but I don't need to. I, I don't need to, so I'm not going to. All right, we're kind of in a predicament now with the printer because all of a sudden, it's not just passport things that we need to get printed out. We have some um, legal docs that we need to get printed out ASAP and um, we literally don't have ink and it's a bank holiday on Tuesday so if we don't get some stuff, some of this stuff figured out we're delaying ourselves anyway so we're on a mad hunt for office supply stores that are open still which they're all going out of business and it's extremely difficult to find places that are open is this what it is yeah We'll take a picture of it. So, we need to like write this down. Wait, somewhere. wait, wait. Wait a minute. We bought a crud ton of those. We did. I, I just know. thought this was like an old one from, hang on. No, I just took it out of the machine. All right, problem solved. <laughs> I thought these ones that were in my um, supply boxes were our old printer number or his printer that used to be at the store. So I've had them the whole time. I could have done the passport papers. Anyway, I burnt my my uh, veggies and chicken <laughs> in this like kerfuffle because we had to hurry because we had to get Abby from work. Not Abby. We had to get Ashley from her friend's house in two hours. But we thought that the office store was like 30 minutes away. So we were kind of in a rush. Now we're not. So I'm going to sit and enjoy my vegetables and a few bits of pasta. Literally like, I think there's like five pieces of pasta in here, which is great. It's all I need. I don't even need them. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go get Ashley. Are you coming, babe? I'm not going out this door. I'm just coming out here to get a breath of fresh air and to check on my flowers here. And look how pretty they are. They're starting to really hang down and like, look at this side over here. Look how big that one is. That one is so big. 
And then these ones are doing so good. I just love how they dangle and you get to like see the flowers from underneath. I don't know why I've never done these ones before, but it's like the perfect one for my porch. And these ones are um, great for shade. Like as you can see, this is like the perfect weather for them and they are perfectly shaded. So they're finally doing really, really well. But I really can't even explain the crazy afternoon Jason and I have had. And I would like to say that, you know, it was fun stuff. We just can't really talk about it. Maybe later we can, but um, I was able to, this hair, my hair is short enough that like that one won't stay in the ponytail. I'm done, it's shower night. I'm gonna wash my hair for church tomorrow. Oh my gosh, it's been such a crazy afternoon doing everything we needed to do for one thing that we aren't talking about. <laughs> but then um, I had to print out all the passport applications for all the kids. I don't know if Kaylee is gonna come to Japan with us. Um, and I'm pretty sure all everyone else wants to, but regardless, it's just a good time to get the kids some passports. Like we can't even, I mean, technically we could take the younger kids up into Canada, but we can't take Kaylee cause she's an adult now. And so it's just a good time to just get them all their passports and we have nine months to get them. And so I had to print out all of those applications. I haven't start, started to fill them out yet, um, but um, we're gonna go in and get their passports actually like in the, you know, in, a, in but in August, as soon as Abby turns 16, we're gonna go ahead and get an appointment and go ahead and get all the passports taken care of. But that's not even like, I just feel so bad because like the other stuff that we've been working on, <laughs> it's just crazy. Anyway, and so I, then I did some ordering on Amazon and um, I don't even know what else I did. Uh, it's just now all of a sudden we have to go get Ashley and our, t our day is done. It's not done, it's only six o'clock. But it's just like, that's all we did <laughs> in our day off from having um, all the kids occupied. Um, but that's okay. Are you coming, babe? Oh, boy, what is this doing? Okay, I'm gonna go show you I'm gonna work on this couch. Well, get an idea. But well, let's see what Dana's doing right now. Oh, you're being a schmuck. Not being a schmuck. What are you I'm doing? I'm enjoying my, my afternoon. That's what I'm doing. Well, I need to work on the couch. Then I'll go take a shower. And when I get out, you'll be done. Oh, I won't be done. Yeah, you will. It's one hole. <laughs> What's that easy, huh? I put the whole couch together. You can, I think you can something's screw. wrong though. There's something <laughs> no, wrong. You'll figure it out. You'll see. Yes. What if I have to take the whole couch apart? Where's the instructions? You don't need the instructions. <laughs> Obviously you need it. Stop! Those. I did the couch right. You're going to look under this. You're going to flip it upside down and you're going to quickly see. There's absolutely no way. But, uh, but there's two sides. Like there's two Correct. parts. Correct. I have already told him this. He's doing this to be a schmuck on camera. No. Get you the angle runner, right? Like, figure what, this out. What, what, that? Okay, whatever. I tried to switch the two panels. I tried to put them the other direction, turn around. There's no other configuration. These ones work fine. These ones work fine. This side actually doesn't even, like, mesh at all. Did you Jeez, touch the them. bottom right then? Is the couch standing? Yes, it is. I did everything accurately. Chelsea and I looked okay, at the instructions. He, no, I'm going to have harsh words with him after the camera. <laughs> Let's see right what now. we can figure out. He's going to quickly Let's see, see there's no other okay. configuration. We'll see I'm going to go shower. Figure. He's going to do this. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. What was that, honey? <laughs> to show them with the tape measure. Show them. So if you go like this and you measure these, they are, well, this one's, these are different. But that side. What is the like measurement? Basically 16 and a half. Okay. Roughly. Okay. But then when you come here. Yes. They're like 16. Correct. So they're off by like Correct. a half an inch. Correct. Or more. I'm sorry, who needs to apologize to their wife? <laughs> that would be you, honey. <laughs> the problem is if I drill through another thing right next to it, it's going to create like a big old, it's like, a hole and a hole too close to each other. Well, I don't know that they're too close. I don't know. 
Well, I'm gonna go get in the shower. You figure it out. All right, so I can document how hard this is gonna be. I'm supposed to drill a hole about three quarters of an inch off center from that. So they basically screwed up and the hole should be about here. The problem is that doesn't leave a whole lot of between here. The only good news is the weight is going to be forcing it down, not like on a hole. You know, it's not forcing it up and down. It's going to be forcing it this way. So having another hole right here shouldn't burst the wood. But it definitely makes for a nice weak spot right here in the freaking wood. So this is one disadvantage to buying things oh my online. Because you don't have a place to take it back to. All right, I got my little helper here. You cleaned up. I know, but you've been doing good. We appreciate it. Helper's helper. So it's not exactly how I would like it, but it's about as good as we can get it. You so pin this, but it would be it's fine. Nobody can see it underneath. But we got this attached. It's on there sturdy. So now you want to help me prop it back up? Oh. Yep. Oh. Okay, is my handiwork good? It is sufficient. Oh, <laughs> shut What? <laughs> it's good. I appreciate it. I just, I want to watch my show and my ice cream is melting. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hard life. It is a hard okay, life. Okay, we're going to click, we're going to check off whatever, sign off. Yeah, sign off. I don't know what I'm going to call this day. It's been a whole lot of chaos. <sighs> okay, good night.